May the Lord bless and keep you. Be careful of what you ask God for. You may believe that you want what you are asking for, but in truth, it may hurt you much more than what you expect. For instance, I was watching this video from this person and I believe that this person operates in the prophetic gift. So this person was speaking about his supernatural experiences and he was describing the look of Satan. And for some weird reason, <laughs> I was thinking to myself, hey, I wonder how Satan really looks like. Within like 10 seconds or so, this, this really evil image, this vision came to me and I only saw the face, but not only that, I could sense the bad energy as well. So I not only saw the vision, but I could feel, I guess, I don't know how to say it, but I could feel the energy from this vision or from that demon. When I only saw the fakes, that's it. I did not see anything else. Only like from right here to like right here. <laughs> Crazy. And while I was seeing it, within the first two seconds, I was asking God, please take this out of my mind. But I believe God allowed to keep it in there for about one minute. Even when I closed my eyes, even when I tried to push away, that image stayed within my mind. My Lord, crazy. Let me say something else. Sometimes I pray to God to, there are people that ask me for help and People may ask you for help, but they really don't really get deep in what they need help with. Like they tell you the surface view of what they need help with. And in order to help you, <laughs> of course I need more information. And for many people, now some people are going to give you so much information, which is good. But there are some people that ask for help, but they give you like a tiny bit of information. It is not so much I am trying to learn about your business and stuff like that, but in order for me to pray for you, the more details you tell me, Okay, the more I can pray for you and the more detailed I can be when I pray for you. You know, it is so funny when people ask me to pray for them and don't tell me what they need prayer for. <laughs> when you come to God, you, you have to be detailed in what you are asking for. If you just ask me to pray for you and I have no idea of what you need from God, so I'm going to pray for you in a very vague way. So it may not help you in where you need help at. So the more specific you are, the better it is going to be. So since people which, some people don't really tell me much 
about what they need. So there are times where I ask God, hey God, please tell me something about this person or show me what to pray for in this person or I ask other things as well. And there are times when I get answers. Sometimes it takes me a while to get the answers. Sometimes I don't have to pray and I get answers. Let me say this. Sometimes when I speak to people, I get words. As in, in one word, how can I say this? I receive words. I believe it is the Holy Spirit. And that one word may tell me something that that person has or a sin that that person is struggling with. Sometimes I get words and I can feel it. I can actually feel that trait that person has in them in a very strong way. There was this one person that I would contact quite often. And this word came to me. I believe this person was or is, well, I don't know if that person has that problem now, but a word came to me about that person and it is selfishness. I could feel it. When that word came to me, I could feel how that person is with that trait. It was really, really, really shocking. And when I found this out, it was really shocking, but it hurt as well. I don't know how to say it in the right way, but when I felt it, it was like I was hurting. Like it actually hurt me. If that makes any sense to you. And I was talking to that person and I was telling the person what came to me and what I felt. And then this person started to tell me why they are like that and all this stuff here. You may believe that knowing a bunch of information is really going to excite you or make you feel like a better person. You may believe that knowing certain things are really going to hurt you in life, but in truth, the more that you learn, the more it is going to hurt you. Now, when it comes down to the things of God, yes, you want to learn as much as you can. What I am saying, the more that you learn about people and other things like that, you have to be careful what you ask for. For instance, myself, I believe I have the gift to read people. And I am not saying that I can read people really well or anything like that, but I can discern discern certain things about people and some people may think that hey that gift is a really good thing no it's not 
No, it's not. Sometimes it is better to be in ignorance with certain people because when you find out things about people, the truth about people, it really hurts. Like, especially when people try to play dumb games with you, I can pick that up really fast and I have to sit there because we have to be humble. So I have to sit there and listen to them lie and believe that I am this idiot or something like that. And I have to act like I don't know what is going on. Sometimes being able to read people really hurts a lot. And I believe there were some other things, yes. It was this other person and I am thinking that this person is okay, you know. Yes, this person is not serving God, whatever, but this person is okay, my Lord. One day, a certain word came to me, which doesn't happen every day, all day, or anything like that. But a certain word came to me about this person, and I forget what it is. I believe like he doesn't care about people or some type of anger or hatred or something like that. And... I was able to feel what he feels pertaining to that trait. It was crazy. I never thought, I never thought that that person could feel that way about anyone. But I could sense that, or I don't know what that is called. I have no idea. But I was able to feel how that person felt about me, even though I have done so much for that person. It was shocking. Even though I found this out about that person, I was still willing to help that person out. But that was really, really shocking. My point is, be careful of what you ask for. Sometimes being able to read people really helps me out in some cases. Well, in many cases, but sometimes it really hurts because knowing or being able to sense how a person really feels about you, <laughs> that is not a good thing all the time. So sometimes with things like that, it is better to be in ignorance. Let me say this too, eavesdropping. Stop eavesdropping. When you eavesdrop and when some people are talking about you, why would you eavesdrop, then get hurt by hearing bad things about yourself or people saying bad things about yourself? If you know that people are saying bad things about you, why would you eavesdrop and get hurt more? I believe that is foolish. People eavesdrop and get really mad about the information told about them. Hey, it is your fault. I know for myself, if people are saying bad things about me, I keep on walking. I don't <laughs> be eavesdropping and stuff like that and be all angry when people say bad things about me. No, I keep on walking. I don't want to hear that. Unless I am doing something wrong, then yes, Tell me that I am doing something wrong. But if someone is conversing with another person about me, and if I believe it is bad things, 
Why would I sit there and listen to their conversation? That is foolish. So if you get hurt from eavesdropping, that is your fault. You are the one. It is silly. Stop that. But my point is, be careful of what you ask God for, because you may get it. You may get the understanding. Knowing everything is not a good thing, I am telling you. Knowing everything is not a good thing. I believe this too. I believe the more you pray, the more you fast, the more you read your Bible, I believe, and I can be wrong about this, but I don't think I am. I believe you receive much more wisdom by doing these things. Things become much more clear to you. And the more that you learn about the Bible, about this world, about people, the more that you are going to dislike this world, the more you are going to see that knowing everything is not as good as you believe. So be careful of what you ask for. Be careful of what gifts of God that you ask. You know what? I may have to make another video about that. Yep. Okay, let me stop here. Be careful. God bless you. If this video have helped you in any way, make sure you share it and subscribe. God bless you.